of Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Today we are in Orberg City, we finally made it, and now we're gonna be looking for the gym leader. We sort of saw the gym in the last episode, but apparently the gym leader's not there, so we'll have to find him. But in the meantime, we might as well look around Orberg City a little bit and sort of get the lay of the land, see if we can't talk to anybody, learn a couple of things. Rourke lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. Okay, so yeah, I think the mine is where we need to go to find the gym trainer, which might be Rourke. A gym leader isn't just like any trainer you meet. I'd take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you, and I definitely plan on it. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for trainers is to get gym badges from them all. Okay, so what about up here? Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. You obtained a Dusk Ball, oh nice. It's got a new type of Pokeball, the Dusk Ball. The Dusk Ball is a Pokeball designed for use in darkness. It works better if you use it at, an, at, at night or in a cave. Yeah, there are certain Pokemon that'll only show up at nighttime, so that's something we'll be keeping in mind for later. Giving nicknames to Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they're your very own. We have uh, this lady. He named our Psyduck yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. I get it, okay. Well, I mean, let's just head out of here for now. And out this way. Then there's another building worth of people to talk to. Yeah, and there's also this person. Have you seen the vents? They release really steam from down below. Interesting. See, I think our main goal in today's episode will be exploring the cave so that we can unlock the gym. Listen, listen, do you have a Pokemon called Machop? Would you be willing to trade your Machop for my Abra? I don't have a Machop, so I'm sorry I can't. Oh, okay. Well, I can't make you trade me, but if you change your mind, I'll be right here waiting. Okay. Pokemon obtained in a trade grows quickly, but if a Pokemon grows too much, it will often ignore the trainer. Of course, that won't matter if you have a lot of gym badges. See, so we can't sort of over-train our Pokemon or things could get a little rough. All Pokemon have a special power called an ability. How many, how my, how my Pokemon and I are alike, it's not anything I can explain easily. Not this person. Uh, the view is good from up here, but it's a pain going out. You don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Zubat? I don't have Zubat, so I guess we need to find Machop and Zubat, or two Pokemon we need to find and bring back to this building so that we can maybe trade them or at least get something out of it. That sounds pretty good to me, we'll work on it. Uh, but in the meantime, we've already talked to you before you showed us around. Is that guy in front of the gym your friend? He's sort of twitchy and impatient. Yeah, we already talked to him a bit. We do have the store over this way, which, you know, I don't know if we have too much we need to restock on, but we might as well take the opportunity. Hello. Welcome, may I help you? I'm here to buy. Okay, so we don't really need more Pokeballs, but Netballs, a somewhat different Pokeball that is more effective when attempting to catch water or bug type Pokemon, sounds like something that could be pretty useful. So we'll buy five of those. Yep. And then for potions, we might as well just get two more so we can round that back out to 10. Sounds good to me. Okay, so. What is going on with these two? The badges of Pokemon gyms give you are a measure of a trainer's worth. By getting more badges, you get to buy more items and Pokemarts. That's cool. The Pokemart girls are so pretty. They leave me tongue-tied. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll come back here once we get a gym badge, which will hopefully be by the end of today's episode. The gym leader went off to work in the mine. Well, there are lots of different TMs. It's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. When I run around with my running shoes on, it feels like I'm in the, I'm the center of attention. Okay. We got this guy over here. Rourke is our town's gym leader. He may be young, but he keeps the mine running safely and efficiently. That's good. Oh no, I wanted to talk to that one person. Whoops, go back in. <laughs> A little awkward. Hello. Rourke is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. Don't you think Rock-type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. Got a little advertisement. Gotta catch them all. It's the Catch the Pokemon Show. So let me tell you about this show's featured Pokemon catching trainer. The trainer that caught our eye with a dandy of the catch is none other than the inestimable, estimable, inestimable? I have never seen that word before. <laughs> Zebra, well it's us, we're on TV. <laughs> and what, you may ask? Yourself, did Zebra catch? Why none other than a mighty fine Geodude. Nice one, Zebra, that's one slick takedown. The Pokemon was now with an expertly thrown Pokeball, and out of one used, it was the very last one. 
I am joking aside, we're talking about one great trainer in Zebra. Oh, hang on a second, I've got a hot new update. Turns out Zebra opted not to nickname the Geodude. Yeah, Zebra, that is so nihilistically cool. Listen up, folks, you go out there and emulate Zebra. Get out there and catch Pokemon like there's no tomorrow. Well, that's flattering. I guess we got our 15 minutes of fame there. Can't go into the gym, but there's still you know other buildings to check out, some other people to talk to. Hello. You know how Pokemon have different natures, like we have personalities. Don't think it. I don't think it's surprising to see Pokemon in different colors. Have you ever seen or heard about shiny Pokemon? They have different colors than usual. For instance, Pikachu is usually yellow, correct? Well, shiny Pikachu is sort of orange. Yeah, so there's different shiny Pokemon, which are incredibly rare most of the time. Oh, these vents exchange the hot air down below with fresh air from outside. Looking down them gives the urge to start yelling into them, hello! It's a vent that exchanges air from the, the Grand Underground, which is where we're headed once we explore everything else. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll go heal up our Pokemon because I'm pretty sure we haven't done that yet and we desperately need to. But the fact that we're coming up on a Rock Trainer is actually pretty good for us because of course Luke is a water type, so that'll be a really nice advantage to have in our first gym battle, or I guess our first gym battles, because there's usually multiple. Um, but, oh no, I didn't mean to do that again. No, thank you. Uh, let's talk to some people around here. Yay, I traded Pokemon at the Global Club downstairs, which I can't do right now. Okay, well, hopefully soon. If you'd like to change your appearance for the, for the union room, talk to the receptionist to the left on the second floor. Okay. Switch on the PC at any Pokemon Center and connect to the Pokemon boxes. That's all you need to do to store or bring out your Pokemon. You may be able to access the Pokemon boxes from the menu screen. Okay, well that's good. But for right now, we'll talk to this guy. Up ahead there's a huge mountain that towers above everything. Divides Sinnoh into two district halves. Huh, whole mountain. But there's still more of this area to explore. Orberg Mining Museum, coal mining in you. And then over here, Orberg City, the city of energy. This goes to Route 207, which is like a totally different spot. Oh, so what's going on here? That slip's too slippery, you'll need a bike to get up. You don't have a bike? There's a cycle shop in Eterna City. See, so yeah, we can't quite get up here or do anything with this just yet. We'll be coming back, so there's not too much of a worry. For right now though, let's go into this uh, little museum. Maybe we can learn a thing or two. Hello, welcome to the Orberg Mining Museum. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils, me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough, I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils, I can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. Okay, well, hopefully soon. Ah, how about that? Orberg Mine extends under the sea floor. Whoa, so this is cool? Never expected something this big. Wow, the Pokemon that carried this must have been terribly strong. I guess there's like little things like samples of coal from different regions are displayed. The box contains categorized samples of coal. Lots of coal stuff. Everyday items and tools of past mine workers are displayed. Badly scarred wooden tools are displayed. They apparently dug out coal using tools in the olden days. Now they use Pokemon, I guess. That's pretty cool. Got it even more rocks over this way. How coal is made part three. Deep underground the plant matter. Okay, well, I'm not reading this in order, but yeah, we could read more about how coal is made. But for right now, I'm sure we'll have to come back to the museum. I wanna keep things, you know, a little bit more moving. And this should be the last building, from what I can tell. Hello. You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. That's cool. I always have a rotten time trying to decide which moves my Pokemon should learn. I get that, sometimes there's just too many choices. Hiya, your Pokemon could use some toughening up. Why not try training an Orberg mine? That's on the to-do list. What about you? Wow, your Pokemon's eyes are twinkling brightly. See, that makes me happy. Here, I want you to have this. You obtained a great ball. Awesome, so that is a pretty good Pokeball to have. Um, I try to think about what would be, be the best Pokeballs for them. Yeah, of course, just trying to make sure every Pokemon is happy in their Pokeball. Orberg mine is operated with the utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of Pokemon. That's good. The whole system of taking the coal out of the mine is automated. There's nothing backbreaking about it. 
Well, that's good to hear. So it seems like Gorenburg is a pretty productive little town. So with that, might as well head down this way so we can actually go into the mine now. Yep, right over here, there's still more people to talk to. Everyone's proud of the mine. They're digging for coal under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. Chop, chop, machop, chop, chop away on rocks. Okay, I guess he's singing with his machop. So what's going on here? You're taking a tour of the coal mine? Wonderful, that's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. I agree. See, so yeah, I guess you can see all the coal sort of being conveyed into this big processing plant of some sort. There's a lot of different excavators. Is there any Pokeballs to find now? That's what I'm looking for. This pile of dirty sand is called a slag heap. It's the waste from sorting coal. Huh. Hopefully there's a way to uh, sort of recycle that waste. And there's even more people over this way, so might as well say hello. There's no question that this is hard, hard work, but working alongside Pokemon, it gives me a boost somehow. Here, take one of these. You take the super potion. Well, that's good, so it's just basically a potion, but better. Feeling hale and hearty puts a smile on my face, and that makes me happy. I'm glad, you deserve to be happy. So that's everything around here, and that's why it's worth talking to everybody, because sometimes they'll sort of give you some nice stuff. Orberg Coal Mine, beware of busy Pokemon. See, let's hop down here. I don't know if we can actually find Pokemon to battle around here. Hello. Everyone who works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. <laughs> They were Pokemon that looked just like rocks. They sure surprised me. So we'll have to look around and see what other trainers we can find. But over this way, we find a Pokeball which has X defense. And that's a battle item that we can hold. So that sounds pretty good, might equip that soon. But uh, down this way, oh, this is where things get interesting. Hello. I met these Machop on Route 207. They've now become my most trusted partners. So Route 207, we should probably keep that in mind so that if we need to find a Machop to you know, show that one person, we can do so. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Oh my, and now he's gonna use them to battle. Okay, so we're going against Worker Mason, who has a Machop. Okay, well Machop can be a bit tough, but I think we'll be okay just throwing out Luke. Okay, so for right now, we'll use Water Gun. Awesome, and that's just about half of their health, so hopefully we can just do that again before they use this Focus Energy on us. See, opposing Machop is getting pumped, so their next attack is really gonna hurt. Can we get rid of them in, in time? Yes, we can, awesome. Okay, see you, Machop. I think that's the only Pokemon this trainer has, so that should be some good experience for everybody. Starly and Geodude level up. Always good to see. And you fitted Worker Mason. Well, now aren't you something? You got $648 for winning. Okay. Okay, okay, time for work. I'll work up a thirst with my Pokemon. You got a Pokeball. You found a potion. That's always good to have. And who is this? Oh no, not, not this. <laughs> Hello. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Whoa, nice. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you can get the badge from the gym in town, you'll be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Oh, really? There you are. Okay, well, I guess I have to go back and talk to you again. Oh, but we're going into a battle. What do we have? We have another Geodude. We already have a Geodude uh, caught, so. Not really too worried about this, but if we could find a Zubat in this cave, that'd be awesome. So for now, we'll just use a quick water gun to get rid of Geodude. Not really worried about power points, so we have enough of them, but not enough to take out Geodude. They used a Sturdy, so they're able to endure that hit, but they're just using Rock Polish, so it's not too big of a deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to use another water gun. Perfect. Yeah, what's interesting about this game, and I think we'll see this more later, but the Rock Smash move, that used to be that you had to give that to a Pokemon 
It was like Magikarp got level seven, that's pretty cool. But you used to have to give that to a Pokemon, so you'd usually have Pokemon in your party that are just there to use their special moves. But luckily here, it looks like you don't have to do that. Fine, alrighty then. Just a quick battle on my break. Okay, let's see about that. This is Worker Colin. Colin has two Pokemon. First one is Geodude, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue at all. Next one, of course we have Luke. We're ready to take you out and hopefully one hit. There's Water Gun, and there it is, awesome. So that should be a good chunk of experience for Luke and for the other Pokemon as well, but most of the Luke. There we go, Geodude level eight, and Luke is level 13. Pretty cool. Okay, Colin's about to send out Onyx. Um, I think Onyx is the evolution of Geodude, maybe? So we'll just keep current Pokemon, see how it goes. Well, actually, no, I think Onyx is its own Pokemon. Yeah, that's right, Onyx evolves into Steelix. So right now, we'll just use Water Gun. There we go, wow, nice. Super effective, Onyx painted. And that's almost level 12 for Bast. Sort of pretty good so far. <laughs> mercy, I cry mercy. You get 560 for one eye. I'd better get back on to get on back to work. You know, I'd rather be traveling around with Pokemon the way you do. Maybe you should try sometime. You found an escape rope. Escape rope is pretty cool. I think you can use that just to sort of escape any cave. Which as you can see, we can't really go back this way, so we'll have to go the long way around. But if we can come back around here next time, and you know, like once we get rock smash and stuff. That'll be what's most useful. So I guess I'll head back now and hopefully we'll run into something that's not Geodude, but right now it, it is Geodude. <laughs> that should be pretty simple to get rid of. And this should be enough to get uh, Bass to level 10, I think it was, or level 12. Okay, never mind. So yeah, level 12 for Bass, level nine for Geodude, pretty cool. Bass wants to learn Bite. Let's forget an old move for that, because it sounds pretty good. So Bite is a dark type move. As you can see, the target is bitten with viciously sharp fangs. This may also make the target flinch. I think this is pretty good. It has a 60 power as well, so I don't think we need tackle anymore. I think we're past tackle. And one, two, and ta-da! Bass forgot tackle, and it learned Bite instead. Judude grew to level nine. Okay, well that's pretty cool. So like I said, I'm just gonna keep working our way out here and hopefully we find something that's not Geodude. That's what we're seeing a lot of, if we see anything else at all. Oh, we find one more thing. Is it Geodude again? Oh, it's Onyx. So if I do catch this, it'd be pretty cool. So we run into a wild Onyx, which I probably don't wanna use Water Gun against because it'll just get taken out right away and we don't want that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just try pound. It's not super effective, as it said. So maybe I just want to switch Pokemon? That's where it gets a little bit weird, right? Here, uh, let's go to our Pokemon. We'll switch to, oh no, what am I doing? Pokemon, we'll switch to Geodude. Because it's rock and ground versus rock and ground. And the weird thing is that ground is super effective against rock. But not the other way around. So we'll see if Geodude can do anything here. If not anything else, we could be a little bit of a punching bag. Sorry to say it, but it, you know, it could be useful. Okay, so let's battle. We'll use, oh actually, they don't even have anything. Oh my, yikes. So I guess I just gotta keep chipping away at Onyx here until they're lower than they currently are. <laughs> Okay, so I've lowered Onyx's health pretty much as much as I want it. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw out a Pokeball and see how this goes. All right. Come on. That's it. All right, so we called Onyx. Pretty cool catch, if you ask me. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Good to see it. So Geodude grew to level 10. And Judy wants to learn the move Rollout. Should an move be forgotten? Sure. Uh, so we have Rollout here, which actually does some damage, so that's cool. We'll put that over Tackle, I think. Yep. One, two, and ta-da! Judy forgot Tackle, and learn Rollout instead. And then Starly leveled up, grid level 11. Magikarp grew to level eight. 
you know, these these Pokemon are sort of just sitting there so they can get experience. Onyx's data will be added to the Pokedex. It squirms through the ground using its long body, long and rugged body. It always eats while burrowing. So rock snake Pokemon, 28 feet long. It is huge, almost 500 pounds. So yeah, very cool. Would you like to give Onyx a nickname? I don't think so for right now. So there you go, Onyx has been added to our party. So with that done, we're gonna keep moving forward. As far as I understand with Onyx, the only way to evolve it is to trade it with a certain item. So it doesn't even need to be a specific level. So I'll probably send that straight to the computer just cause it doesn't really need any of the levels. But uh, yeah, with that all cleared out, we're gonna go and heal our Pokemon up, sort of figure out our team a little, and then I guess we'll be good to go and train. Or not train, but go and take on the trainer. <laughs> <laughs> that should be good. So yeah, let, let's just heal for now. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to have Onyx around for this one battle. But it is something we'll have to consider as we're moving forward. But there we go. Restored our Pokemon to full health. Pretty cool. Let's keep going. So, back over this way. Yeah, I guess we're good to go. Let's go to the gym leader and hope that we can turn this into a good win. Whoa. Actually, there's only two trainers to go against here. Hello. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. Gym leader is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They're also weak to grass-type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering your weaknesses. Going after a rock-type Pokemon with a fire-type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Thank you for the advice. Horrorbird Pokemon Gym Leader Rourke. Certified Trainers, Lion. Is Lion the only person who has defeated Rourke? Because you'll find out. You avoided the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Well, because I want to take on as many trainers as possible to gain more experience. Okay, so we have Youngster Jonathan. He's gonna send out Geo, dude. Okay, so Luke should be able to handle this whole gym like it's nothing. We just hit people with water gun, they fall apart right away. It's easy peasy. Geo, dude's gonna faint. And I think that's the only Pokemon this trainer had. Yep, we defeated Youngster Jonathan. Now I understand why you decided to battle with me. <laughs> Poor guy. You should go whichever way you want. Take the shortcut or the long way. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shortcut. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. Well, yeah, that's sort of the whole point, to win. You're challenged by Youngster Darius. Youngster Darius sent out Geodude. It's another Geodude. I, th I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of this guy today. I mean, we already have, but even more of it. Let's go ahead and hit another water gun. I wonder if I can change the order of the moves so that water gun's in the front. So I'm using that a whole lot more than everything else. But there we go, Geodude's down. I think they had one more Pokemon. But for now, Lukin's level, A level, gets to level 14. Mr. Jarius is about to send out Onyx. Um, I do not want to switch, actually. A level eight Onyx should be no problem. Let's go for it. There we go, perfect. Super effective, Onyx fainted. Looking good. We almost got some level ups for some other Pokemon. Defeated Youngster Darius. Ugh, this is humiliating. You got 416 Poke Dollars for winning. One day, I'm gonna become a tough trainer like you. No, I'm sure it'll be no problem if you keep training. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with a rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. All right, then let's go forward our first gym battle in Brilliant, or I guess Shining, but not Brilliant Diamond. You are challenged by Gym Leader Rourke. Gym Leader Rourke sent out Geodude. Okay, what do you know? Geodude again, big surprise. Guessing Geodude, Onyx, and then maybe some other Pokemon. Uh, Battle, Water Gun, let's go for it. 
It's the water gun. Makes it super simple. Geo dudes get a faint. And that's gonna be level up for four Pokemon. Oh my gosh. So Basker to level 13, Starly to 12, Magikarp to nine, and Geodude to 11. Do you mean O'Rourke is about to send an Onyx? I will not be switching. So I caught it, Geodude and Onyx. Maybe the third one will be an evolution of Geodude, if I'm not mistaken. Guess we'll find out. Right now, oh, sturdy. So it endured the hit, didn't get taken out there. But it's not gonna make too much of a difference, even if they use a potion here, unless it refills Onyx to full, which it doesn't, I think we'll be okay. We'll get us hit them again. And look at that, no problem. The opposing Onyx fainted. And it looks like Onyx on our team reads level 10. Pretty cool. Doom Lunar Work is about to send out Kranidos. I don't know Kranidos. I've never seen that Pokemon before. Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones? Gym Leader Rourke sent out Kranidos. Whoa, okay. Mold Breaker Kranidos. I don't know. Let's just try this. The opposing Kranidos used Leer. It's like a dinosaur. Okay, for right now we'll try Water Gun. Oh, and it's still super effective, so I don't know if we have too much of an issue. No way, not yet, not giving up. We'll see about that. Let's use Water Gun again. The opposing card does use Zulier. Once again, still not a problem. Yep, there's Water Gun, and boom, we gotcha. It's super effective, the opposing card does fainted. Very cool. So that's gonna be level 15 for Luke and level 12 for Geo, dude. Oh, new move. Forget an old move for Peck. Is Peck a flying type? Yeah, it is a flying type. Interesting. The target is jabbed with a sharply pointed beak or horn. Um, I think we'll put that over Pound. Yep. I don't know how often we'll use that move, but it's still good to have a flying move available. One, two, and ta-da. Luke forgot Pound, and it learned Peck instead. Dude, dude grew to level 12. Let's learn to move Harden. Sure, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it because we're not gonna keep Geodude. Uh, the user stiffens all the muscles in its body to raise its defense stats. So we'll put that over defense curl. Sure. So there we go. All that's out of the way. You defeated Gym Leader Rourke. What? That can't be. My buffed up Pokemon. You got 1,960 for winning. Nice. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give your gym badge to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. Awesome. So we got our first ever gym badge, one of many. We received the Cole badge from Rourke which is really cool, that means a couple of different things. Having that cold badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poke Attack, or Poke Uh You should also take these too. You obtain TM76s. You put the TM76s in your bag's TM pocket. Each TM76 contains the move Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on opponents that switch in a battle. And these are the stickers I use. Here, take some. You obtain the stickers that Rourke uses. Stickers? I don't know what that, that means. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly. But a TM that will break when you use it, so, but a TM will break when you use it, so be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. All right, well that sounds good. Thank you, Rourke. In this region of Sinnoh, there are seven other gym leaders. I should warn you, they're a lot tougher than I am. Okay, well we'll definitely be slowly but surely training up, getting stronger so that we can take them all on for right now though, that was our first one here in Orberg City. Pretty cool, I think the first thing we should do is heal up. So let's go over to, uh, over the healing areas. Actually, it's to the right, I think. Yep, right over here. So let's go ahead and heal up and then we'll sort of start thinking about what we wanna do next. Okay, so my Pokemon are healed up. Seeing how I don't need Onyx to, um, 
level up to evolve, I think we're good just to move Onyx into our box. I should probably move it into box one for now. There you go. Um, we have Geodude, which I think Geodude still needs, I can always check, but I'm pretty sure Geodude needs a certain level to evolve. Yeah, Geodude needs to get to level 25 to evolve the first time, and then to evolve the second time, it would need to be traded. So we can still wait until it's level 25. Same thing with Magikarp, I think it needs to get to a certain level before it can uh, evolve, but it also needs a stone, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not, it needs level 20. So we'll just be holding on to these Pokemon for a bit. But I did notice that down this way, the bottom area has been opened up now that we've defeated the gym leader. So what is this about? Oh, hello, right this way, please. Hello, I'm glad to meet you. My name is Tila, and I'm your guide to the Pokemon Global Club. If you have a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can use the internet to connect with trainers all over the world in this club to battle, trade Pokemon, and so on. You can enter the union room anytime by pressing the Y button. But there are some places, such as inside buildings, where you can't use it. Would you like to hear more of a detailed explanation? Well, this is where we can play with other players online, which is really cool, but I don't think it's anything that I need personally. Before I enter the global room, I take a deep breath and ask myself, do I want to battle today, or do I want to trade? Well, always good to keep in mind those options, but for right now, I'm not too worried about it. We're mostly focused on the single player experience of this game. But if we press the X button, head out to your adventure, or your next adventure, we can check the map, and I guess our goal is just somewhere here in Orborg City, Orborg. Maybe I have to go back to Jubilife? Yeah, I can't go up because I don't have a bike, so that really should answer my question. Okay, so one thing I wanted to try is now that we have the rock smashed, we should be able to go back in Orberg Mine and break some of these rocks. And I wanted to try that just to see what would happen. We have a great sort of area to experiment with it. But we're gonna run into some Pokemon, which is totally fine, because I'm hoping eventually we can run into a Zubat in here, because I think we can. Um, the Zubat would be great for showing to that one trainer that was looking for one. And then Machop. I'm not quite sure where to find Machop, but hopefully we find one over time. Yeah, as far as I remember, this is a very long Pokemon game, longer than the other ones we've played. So I'm pretty excited to see if that's the case, if it's as long as I remember it being. Because that's the case, we'll have a pretty long series up ahead of us, which will be always fun to experiment. So, or experience. See, I can't break these rocks. Like, it doesn't even give me the option to choose them, but they might not be the right kind. I don't know. Yeah, these kind are slightly a lighter color. This rock seems breakable with a hidden move. Would you like to use Rock Smash? Yes. A wild Bidoof helped out by using Rock Smash. Yeah, just a wild Bidoof just shows up. It's so interesting. Because that's not how it used to be. You'd have to catch a certain Pokemon that'd be able to learn Rock Smash, which would sometimes be sort of a pain because it might not mix with your team very well. By the way, I gotta take on the Geodude again. That's all that shows up most of the time is like Geodudes and stuff, but I know that other things can show up. It's just a lower chance. Okay, so we'll go with this. Hope for the best. Pretty easy. At the least, we're getting some good experience for our Pokemon so that we can be a little bit ahead of the curve as we're experiencing other things. Okay, so Magikarp grew to level 10, which is always good. And we're just finding more trainers. I don't know if there's anything else down here, so I guess I'll look around and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so Starly grew to level 13 and wants to learn to move Double Team. So let's forget an old move so Starly can learn that, because I think Double Team is good. It's a normal type move. Uh, by moving rapidly, the user makes illusory, illusory copies of itself to raise its evasiveness. So I think we'll put that over maybe Growl? I mean, we have Quick Attack, so we probably don't need Tackle. Maybe we'll just put it over Tackle. There you go. Ta-da! We got Tackle and we learned Double Team instead. So with that out of the way, is there anything else around here going on? It really doesn't seem like it, but there might be a Pokeball hidden back here. No, I can't get up here with this. Oh, okay, well, I guess not then. This might be a good opportunity to showcase then the um, escape room, how this works. I thought that maybe there was a secret up there, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh well, we tried. Oh my gosh, they had Sturdy, of course, so they're not getting up very easily. There we go. Okay, with Geodude down, we're getting out of here. I'll show how escape rope works. Hopefully soon we can find a Zubat, among other Pokemon, there's plenty I'm looking for. It always It is always a shame when you're looking for one Pokemon, but nothing but another will show up. 
Uh, but yeah, if we go to our bag, in here, escape rope. A long and durable rope, use it to escape instantly from locations like caves or dungeons. So can you use this? And whoa, <laughs> we just sort of spin away that did not look like a rope to me, but we're back out here in the entrance. Pretty useful. So I guess we'll just head back the way we came in, because it's really the only way to go. So maybe heading back up there. I guess with Rock Smash, we should be able to make our way through a little bit easier. Oh, hey, it's Lion, thud. Whoops, Zebra, you got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle a tough and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. 10 seconds before I dash. Nine, ah, who's got time to count? All right, see ya. So yeah, pretty cool we were able to clear out Orberg City and defeat the gym leader. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.